What's up everybody? Hope you're having a great Tuesday. Excited to be doing more than one vlog this week. Uh, this is part two. Two vlogs, one week. We're at the beach today. You saw that sunrise, absolutely gorgeous. Up at 4.45 this morning, so I'm a little tired today, but went to bed around midnight, so four and a half hours or so of sleep. It's my grandma's birthday this weekend, so we're in visiting all family and celebrating that. She's turning 70. Happy birthday, grandma. Could be a pretty fun day. There's a lot of fun stuff to do here, so let's do it. Alright, we are ready to go, um, set up, still waiting on a couple things to arrive, it's only a quarter after 8 so still pretty early, but we have all the tables covered, balloons, streamers, does this look like a 70th birthday party? I think so. Look at this, we got some food, coolers, grills are right over there. This place is pretty sweet. Look at this view. It is so cool here. Let me show you some of the uh, some of the cool things that we have going on. Volleyball, how about that? Our very own fire pit. Just look at this place. Look at all these seagulls. Should we try scaring them? Every time I like move, they just like they part like the Red Sea. <laughs> I'm gonna head back in probably wait two hours. The wife is bringing me a change of clothes. I'm gonna go shower, change, clean up. Um, I'm kind of just holding down the fort right now until everyone else gets here or other people get here. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get the day started. Now I'm in Ohio and I come up on a Richmond Street. What are the chances? Okay. Let me explain a little bit about what makes my grandma so great. In order to do that, you need to know a little bit more about me. I was born in Euclid, Ohio, not too far from where we're at right now. I moved around a bit as a kid, but two things that were always constant in my life were my mom and my grandma. She was always there for me. She always supported me, and she always encouraged me to be the best version of myself. When I was a freshman in high school, my mom, my stepdad, my brother and sister and I, we moved to Queensbury, New York. And again, my grandma was always a huge supporter of me, following me and encouraging me on social media, always, always there for me. A little bit about my grandma. Today, she's 70 years old. And let me tell you, she is one tough cookie. She loves life. She is the one who got me my first PlayStation because it was her second one and she didn't need two. She used to outplay me in every video game that I know. If you want to have a good time, my grandma's the one you want to have around. When I was younger, we used to prank each other. She used to call me her little jackass. <laughs> but my grandma's been through a lot. She's, she's tough. She is a very... She's a very tough woman and I respect and look up to her in the fullest. She inspires me every day to live my life to the fullest 
and not take anything for granted. If you have someone in your life that supports you unconditionally, no matter what, and believes in you 110%, then you know what I'm talking about. For me, that's my family, and my grandma is a huge part of that. She has always encouraged me to be unique, be myself, and that I have the potential to do anything. So with that said, thank you, Grandma. I love you. Happy birthday. And here's to many more. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. All right, everybody. Whew. We're having a fire. No, we're miss. We're tractor. We're meeting her. Just messing up my shot. Everyone wants to go out. I don't know what we're doing. I'm having a great time. Hope you had a great time. Peace.